with our seventh graders, we are going to continue talking about transformations. So, so far you've learned about translations, the slide, and now we're going to talk about reflections, or you might have labeled it as a flip. We're going to call it reflection, the fancy way. It's a transformation in which the figure is reflected in a line called the line of reflection. That makes sense, doesn't it, if it's reflected over that line, the line of reflection. A reflection creates a mirror image of the figure. So it's like it's facing, looking in the mirror. So right here I have the bike again. That's what the book used. So I did my little clip art and found one similar to it. So this right here would be the line of reflection. I might think of this as the X or horizontal axis. And this is different. It's not like you're putting your finger on the bike and sliding it down. Now you're taking the bike and you're flipping it over. So we're just taking that bike and flipping it over. That's a reflection. You don't just have to flip it over a horizontal axis. You could also flip it over a vertical axis. So that's kind of like the Y. So this bike is looking in the mirror. Wow, what a nice looking bike. It's just flipped right over. So here's the seat right here. Here's the seat here. Here are the handlebars. Here are the handlebars. They're facing one another. So it's way different than a slide. So we're flipping that thing right over. So again, what I'd like you to be able to do first is to look at two shapes, two figures, and tell me, is A a, re a reflection of figure B? So I'm going to label these because I just printed out some original ones. The other ones did not seem dark enough. Yours have an A and a B on there already. Mine are nice and colorful because I have a color printer. It's crazy. Okay. So here's A. I want to know if A is a reflection of B. So if you start with B, if we were to flip B over this line of reflection, is B looking in the mirror? It looks to me like it is because I see here's the point, the top of B, and that is on the opposite side there. Those side lengths are both the same, so these sides match up here. It's flipped right over. So we would say yes. And we can just say flipped. Okay, now look at number two. Here's A, here's B. Does it look like A is looking in a mirror? No, because if A were looking in the mirror, this arrow head here would be right here. This is actually a translation. It's a slide. So this would be a no. It's just a slide. It's not flipped right over. If you do struggle with this, it wouldn't hurt just to take a piece of paper, cut out this shape, and then pick it up and flip it over and, and see. I mean, that's a great hands-on way to figure it out if you have a hard time visualizing this. I think a lot of people struggle with geometry concepts because we have a hard time visualizing. So do some cutouts. I think we'll maybe end up doing some in class, and, and don't be afraid. It's whatever your learning style is, embrace it. All right, so now I want you to be able to reflect a figure over the x-axis. And there's nothing there. Uh-oh, I didn't forget. It says the vertices of a triangle are, and I give you the vertices of a triangle. That means that we need to create this original picture. So let's do that. Point A is negative 1, 1. So start at the origin. Negative 1 means left, and positive 1 means up. So that's A. B is 2, 3. So that means right 2, up 3. And C is 6, 3. So that means right 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then up 3, 1, 2, 3. So there's A, B, C. I would now get my trusty ruler out. I have mine right here. If you don't have yours, hit pause, get it. Let's make nice, neat triangles. I'm going to try to not let it bother me that the B is going to end up having the line go through it. You know how I am. It's going to drive me crazy, but I can let it go. Let it go. Right? Okay. There it is. Woo, how pretty. The vertices of this triangle, A, B, C, all set. Now, we're supposed to draw this triangle and its reflection over the x-axis. So we drew the triangle. Now we need to draw its reflection, and it says over the x-axis. Here's the x-axis. So that means that this line right here is my line of reflection. This line here. So I'm taking this and I want to flip it over the line of reflection. So we're, here's how you do this one. Let's do ABC. 
That works for me. Here's a line of reflection. Do you see how point A is one away from this line? So I'm going to make the reflection of point A in the same position over, and I'm going to make it one away. So that would be A image, A prime. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Here's B. B is one, two, three away from the line of reflection. So I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go three away. One, two, three. And there's our B. Here's C. C is one, two, three away. So we're going to go one, two, three away. All right. I forgot to put my little prime symbols. Hopefully you didn't. You caught it. Mrs. Trombley made a mistake. I know. It happens every once in a while, huh? More often than that. All right, I'm connecting these with my ruler. And take a look. Ask yourself, does it look like I took this triangle and just flipped it right over? Does it look like it's looking in the mirror? This is its face looking in the mirror. And there is its face staring right back at it. Yep. So now it asks you, what are the coordinates of the image? Well, let's list those out. We have A prime, B prime, C prime. And there we go. Okay, so to get to A, now I'm listing an ordered pair, so I start my counting from the origin. I have to go left one and down one. B is right two and down one, two, three. And C is right one, two, three, four, five, six, and down one, two, three. Voila. All right, it wouldn't be fair if we didn't reflect over the y-axis. The y-axis gets really, really jealous. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. But I'm bumped. I know. All right, I need to start charging to watch these videos because my jokes are so funny. Anyway, we're going to reflect over the y-axis. It says the vertices of a quadrilateral are, and I give you four corners there, four points, which makes sense because it's a quadrilateral. It's going to have those four points. And I ask you to draw that quadrilateral and its reflection over the y-axis. So let's start by drawing this quadrilateral. Let's plot those points. So point P is negative 2, 5. So I'm going to go 2 to the left and 5 up. Q is negative 1, negative 1. So negative 1, negative 1. R is negative 4, 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And S is negative 4, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, let's connect these vertices. It's kind of a fun word to say. Did I do something wrong here? Let me see, negative 2, 5, no. Draw that. I just had in my mind that it was going to be a perfect little parallelogram, but it's okay that it's not. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay, so now we're supposed to take this. We have our lovely little quadrilateral here. We're supposed to take this and flip it or reflect it over the y-axis. So this here, this is the y-axis, right? So this is my line of reflection. We're going to do kind of the same thing that we did before. Just take it one point at a time. Here's my line of reflection. There's Q. Q is one away from the line of reflection. So I'm going to go opposite. I'm going to go one away from the line of reflection over here. And that's my new Q. So I'm going to call that Q prime. Let's do P next. That just sounded funny. All right, P is two away from the line of reflection. So I'm going to go the opposite way, two away. And there is P prime. Here's R. R is one, two, three, four away from the line of reflection. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four away from the line of reflection over here. And S is one, two, three, four away. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four away in the opposite direction. And now let's connect all these points and make sure that it actually looks like a reflection. So important to reflect on your answer and see if you're right. 
I know, I'm just full of them tonight, aren't I? This is actually an evening lesson I'm recording. Am I funnier at, at nighttime? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe this is a really bad idea. Well, let's look. Does it look like Q is looking in the mirror saying, you are so cute? Yup, sure does. So we just flipped this right over. You are done with reflection. See you next time.